Introduction of organizational insights into Microsoft Viva Digest email. So again, Microsoft Viva Insights frustrates me because that is an amazing product. So Microsoft Workplace Analytics, as it used to be called, is now in Viva Insights. And that's the bit where someone relatively central in the organization can pull all of the data across the whole organization, anonymized, so meetings and emails, and get a lot of depth because you know who the meeting's with, you know who the email's with. Again, all anonymized, but you can look at the domain of where it's going to. So you can see if you're having a meeting with a customer versus an internal meeting, or you can see how much time we're spending with this customer versus another customer. Really, really good, really, really useful and relatively cheap. So I think this is the best kept secret that Microsoft have. I think everyone should just get Viva Insights and, and get and get some really good data about how to, to improve your organization. Viva then also has a digest email. And again, I think it's, we used to have my analytics, which was your own data and workplace analytics, which was workplace data. That made sense to me. They've now rebranded everything as Viva Insights and you have to pay for one versus the other. So Viva Insights, your personal stuff is included for free. And then Viva Insights for organizational stuff is you have to pay for. So it's saying if you've got the premium Viva Insights license, then for managers where this is turned on, then you'll get after hours collaboration, meeting culture, and manager one-to-one -one time included in your digest email. So seeing how your team's working, which isn't that it's not useful, but each manager sort of looking at that themselves might just discard it. I think that the actual, what the content and the style of the email has gotten worse since they rebadged it to Viva versus MyAnalytics. That's just my own opinion. Uh, I think it was a lot clearer the way it was before. And yeah, as they've sort of worked through rebranding Viva Insights for MyAnalytics, there was a bit where you could jump out into one and it had a you know different view and it looked jarring. So it's like, well, I, I thought I was clicking through Viva Insights, now it jumped into MyAnalytics. I don't know what the difference is. Now they've sort of consolidated that, but then taken away some of the functionality. So again, might be a way of Microsoft making an additional license, but this one was never in there. So admittedly, you could never see stuff for your people without an initial license anyway. And yeah, if it's coming out, then that's that's cool. But uh, but yeah, we should Microsoft to do more on Viva Insight, uh, at least push it more.